Tonight, a Channel 2 investigates exclusive. A years-long mystery at the Galveston County Medical Examiner's Office turned out to be a big mix-up. As employees work to identify victims of the so-called killing fields along I-45 decades ago, body parts from one victim were mixed up with another woman's remains. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold is live tonight in League City with the stunning new developments in this. Robert? This is the memorial to the victims of the so-called killing fields. And while their murders have not been solved, part of this mystery has now been solved more than three decades later. The short answer is part of remains from one victim, Audrey Cook, got mixed up with another victim, Laura Miller. To help sort through all this, we spoke with the Galveston County Medical Examiner who's inherited this issue. We never want to magnify a family's grief. But our policy is always that honesty is the best policy. Dr. Aaron Barnhart is talking about Audrey Cook's family being told seven of her ribs were found in storage. That call came after the family was told Cook's remains were returned to the family intact and after she was cremated. We did not have those remains here, but we did have documentation that those remains had been sent to Sam Houston State University for storage. Cook is one of the so-called killing fields victims, along with Laura Miller. Some of Cook's ribs got mixed in with Miller's remains. That mix-up was discovered when Miller's body was exhumed in 1997, except at the time, no one knew who the extra bones belonged to because Cook had not yet been identified. Those that did not actually belong with the victim they were examining were separated and put into a different, uh, different category, given a different case number. Plus, Barnhart says DNA testing in the 80s and 90s was not routine. And that's what happens with current cases, is that that DNA extraction is, is automatically done to try to make an identification. But with very old cases and partial skeletonized remains, that was generally not done. League City Police say what brought all this back to the forefront was when they were contacted by the ME's office and told a box marked Calder Road Killings was found with bones inside. Detectives immediately started combing through old case files and figured out the extra bones found in Laura's grave all those years ago actually belonged to Audrey. So they wonder, why can't you put your life back together? Because every day there's a new story and it's not pleasant. Now, the medical examiner who was in place when these victims were found and examined has now, been, is, excuse me, uh, died four years ago. As we told you on Friday, Tim Miller is now suing Galveston County for the second time over the handling of his daughter's remains. This revelation does not help, neither does the conflicting answers that we got to some of our questions. And we're going to get into that at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from League City, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Robert, thank you.